Well, thanks for dropping at an inconvenient time, Drake. Also, I have... Oh, I can't see it, but... I have retainers in, so I'm gonna sound like Kanye with his silver grills. UFC 300 is done. Max Holloway is the greatest fighter of all time. And, um, yeah. Early in the day, Drake... <laughs> Drake dropped a response. I'm gonna react to the Drake diss, and I guess I'll... See what's up with Rick Ross's response to a lot of people are against Drake, and also that uh, ASAP Rocky and Childish Gambino came out came out on Tyler created Coachella set. You know we've been wanting this, so it's kind of a leak. So I I hate I hate having to do leaks, but a lot of people have already started to do their reactions to it and whatnot. So um, like the weekend said, leaks in your operation. Hopefully it doesn't get taken down, because uh, that wouldn't be nice. Let me. Let me be topical again. Hey. I could never be nobody number one fan. City, it was friends on. He's stepping with a size seven man's on. This the part with the fight. Give me 50 likes of push ups. Cool. Your last this bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucker. Let me need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop. You better drop and give them 50. Hips have got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Savage got you wiped. Oh boy, you in a scope right now. Fuck is this a 20v1? Prince to a king. He a son, nigga. Oh. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Six God on the front runner, blunt runner. Clean as the bread out here tricking. Do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Whoa. Switch chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. Sorry, that was slick as hell. Should have probably changed. In every fucking chain, our own next visit. Some bodyguards like Whitney to drop your little midget ass. Better fucking. Hey, man, drop it, give me 50. Out here rapping what I'm living. For like I'm Ricky. Camping in this nigga turning 50. Gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, show who put that be busting out the grid. Heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. I've been giving me 50. Drop, drop. Oh. Brewing in a pot now. I'm heating up. Care with cold. Think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping. He top. Wanna piece it up? Nah, pussy. Now you want begging cost or not. Boy, you not fucking beating us. Numbers wise, I'm merch money. Feed us. I'ma let you know. What the fuck are you smoking on, Kendrick? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He went hard on that. Oh god. Oh god. He came in with aggression and fire. We gotta give Drake props for that. We gotta give Drake props for that. He went in hard, dude. Beat was menacing. He was menacing. He just called Kendrick short, man. He's dissing me too, man. That's not cool. That's not cool. But then again, <laughs> it's a rap game, you know. Yeah. If this is true, and if this is the official version, because, you know, it's still a leak. Who, who knows what Drake will do when it, if it actually drops. Um, wow. Wow. We are in for an entertaining time, to say the least. Who knows what happens. Maybe Coaches will be on the feature. We don't trust you, reference. Drake states that behind closed doors, some people who throw shots at him are friendly to him, despite the beef they portray to the public. Uh-oh. You won't ever take no chain off of us. How the fuck you being stepping with a size 7? <sighs> oh, God. He, yeah, he's calling... Oh, God, he's calling Kendrick short, man. He's calling Kendrick short, man. The phrase, all bark and no bite is synonymous with cowardice and inaction. This is likely a response to Kendrick Lamar's verse on Metro Boomin's like that. My God, there's like a genius annotation for every line, man. Oh, and he's, <laughs> and he's going after Mr. Morale again, dude. Come on, man. Drake is seemingly hinting that they are doing it to make more money so that they can pay back their labels. Major distribution. Moon Fire Verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Damn. Damn. By Kendrick Lamar. Released today, actually. Right, kind of almost today. I didn't even know Moon 5 had a Kendrick Lamar feature. But then again, I'm not tapped into Moon 5 like that. Drake implies that Lamar is just as prone to musical inauthenticity as any other artist signed to a record label, saying that Kendrick will submit to the wishes of Top shorthand for Lamar's former record, Top Dog Entertainment, when demanded. The jab applies to Future as well as he collabed with, as he collabed with Swift on Endgame and Maroon 5 on Cold. Oh. You ain't no big three, since I got you wiped down, Travis got you wiped down, Savage got you wiped down. Mr. Morale and the Big Snippets has been suppressed in album equivalent units by Scissor's SOS, Travis Scott's Utopia, and 21 Savage's Her Loss. All made a number one hit with him, including Slime You Out, Sicko Mode, 
and Jimmy Cooks. It's worth noting that Drake and 21 also have a number two hit titled Rich Flex. Oh man, oh man, there's so much to dissect. Rick Ross responded to the diss several hours later with champagne moments, where it clarifies the reason for unfallen Drake, which was that Drake allegedly sent a cease and desist to French Montana over a Metro Boomin produced collab on Mac and Cheese 5. Drake has also personally invited Christina Mackey, Rick Ross's ex-girlfriend, to the Sunrise Florida stop of its All A Blur, As Big As The What tour, Big as the what? She posted VIP tickets on her IG after Rick Ross unfollowed him. Woo! Woo! Worry about whatever going on with you and uh Oh my god. Drake suggests that Rick Ross should worry about his alleged affiliations with infamous rapper Diddy, who has been under fire lately for sex trafficking allegations. Drake also samples Rick Ross's famous hot ad lib at the end of the line. This particular line appears on the unmastered leak, however it seems to be removed from the mastered final version. Oh my god, yeah, he uses Adeline dude. Shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty, Ja Moran. What? No, oh, shout out to Ja? Ja Moran responded to Metro Boomin's tweet regarding his and Future's new album, We Still Don't Trust You, which is full of subliminals and Drake supporting the album. The reason Moran may have sided with Metro is that Drake was rumored to have gone on a date with Ja's ex-girlfriend. However, Drake makes fun of Ja for being heartbroken and running his mouth on Twitter. Oh my god. I saw a tweet that LeBron was, because the Lakers played the Grizzlies, and LeBron did a dunk, and he's like looking at Ja wild, because like, oh my god. <laughs> I... I also had no idea Joe was beefing with Drake. Very well. Not beefing with Drake, but affiliated with Metro. No wonder why I was confused with that gritty part. I was like, and that fucking song y'all got did not cite the beef with us. The shit been booing in a pot, now I'm heating up. I don't care what cool thing, that dot shit was weak as fuck. Fuck. You're like, fuck Jake Cole, man. I'm like, this shit? Fuck you, Kendrick. Fuck you, Metro. The history of subliminal shots between Drake and Lamar tracing all the way back to 2013 where Kendrick famously declared war against Drake and the rest of his peers by name of Control, his infamous Control verse that completely overshadowed Big Sean. Shout out to Big Sean though, his, his new single is pretty good. Oh my god. After that inciting the diss track as the lamest shit he's ever did in his fucking life, Cole deleted it from streaming platforms a week later. Despite this, Drake insists that Cole was right to call To Pimp a Butterfly a weak record. <sighs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Uh, all for the love of the game, I guess. Now that To Pimp a Butterfly scent is about to heat up again. Drake is reportedly worth upwards of $200 million, whereas Kendrick Lamar is valued at $70, $75 million, less than half of Drake's valuation. Shit. And I have some of that million? This ain't even everything I know to wake the demon up. So he's got more in the tank. Which makes sense. It's the first it's it's the first response. I'm assuming Did he say anything about Rocky though? Yeah. Drake dropped the fucking track. Loaded of stuff that he can pick and dissect. Main one was Kendrick man. Holy shit. He he's he's in it for the head, man. <laughs> and calling Metro Boomin a hoe. Oh my god, man, why? <laughs> Just tell him to make drums! Come on, man. Come on. But hey, I mean, honestly, it is a push comes to shove thing. With all these people coming against Drake, Drake was bound to say something. I mean, in retrospect, what, even if he was teasing like, Oh, I'm not gonna respond. I ain't taking, it. I ain't taking this shit seriously. But if this officially drops, then... We officially got stuff on the way. This is way more powerful than just calling Kenji Lamar Pickle Rick Lamar. Oh my god, huge if true. Absolutely huge if true. But wow, that was a banger, I'm not gonna lie. Pissed Off Drake is one of the best Drakes you can have, dude. One of the craziest Drake tracks in the minute, man. But yeah, Kendrick, yeah, it's time, Kendrick. It's time, Kendrick. A lot of people saying it's an AI, so only time will tell. It's the same one, right? Oh, this is a different version. This might be the earlier version. Oh my god. All it took was one line for Metro. <laughs> Oh my god. No dab this. We won. We won. Now let's look at this Rick Ross thing real quick. Maybe I can use it. Fish tanks marble floors living big at the floss. What you could have had. And I'm getting high as your shit decline. Who believes in that you chain? Watch you bitches bleed. Cause getting money, you're ready to die. B.I.G. Right through the yard and I swear to God. Kill you niggas for free. Do it all for the thrill. Niggas leave me, you check me. White boy. Oh. White boy, I see you. Oh. 
up on me cause the clip is fully Niggas pussy The nigga had to write your grooves uh -oh. so copy and paste Go Sider Did you want me to say 50 mils for the crib In my hole But got bitches you can't Bitch nigga is home And no room for debate It's on <laughs> <laughs> no way. What? Does this his father's nose? Oh. The police nigga is fucking stunning your life, nigga. White boy. Yeah. Biggest. No, you got your dockers on with no underwear, white boy. That surgery, that six pack going, that's why you wearing that funny shit, white boy. What the fuck? These beats are crazy and menacing. Which which is great for a diss track. Wow, that was a fast ass response, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's perfect that um, the Raptors and the Heat are playing tomorrow, so. Call him white, dude. They have to go at his father, man. Oh, and also Quay Rose beefing with Chris Brown, dude. What is happening, man? Drake is trending, of course. And, we gotta say this. Tyler brought out Childish Gambino. What the fuck, dude? Tyler created ASAP Rap, I mean Dead Buddy, so of course. Dude, rap is, rap is getting hip hop rap. We're reaching some interesting times, that's for sure. We're getting like some fucking Rap Royal Rumble coming up soon, man. Just everyone fucking coming in and asking for fucking beef. Drake went pretty ballistic. <laughs> Rick Ross was just called, Rick Ross was fucking, I got respected for the fast response. Let's see what Kendrick says. Uh, I don't know how Melissa Kendrick's gonna go, but I'm assuming he's gonna respond. But, oh god, things might get ugly. Or, we get the friendship ending, and everyone just gets along, and then we have this huge-ass <laughs> collaboration album. <laughs> Surely that's gonna happen. Maybe in the future, when everything settles down. I'm calling it right now. After the beef settles, we are getting a collab song with all three of them. Fucking just make a whole posture cut with everyone involved. But, uh... That that big three, that big three track seems more likely if the beef ever settles, or it just stays on for centuries. Who knows? That's not cool what you did to Metro Man. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be wild. All right, yeah, um, rap is about to get interesting. Um, am I gonna keep track of everything? No, cause uh, I am not fit for this. I just want to go play some WWE 2K, but since uh, Drake decided to drop when I was. Finishing up my Metro Boomin reaction, you know, I was like, ah, might as well. Seems to be talking to town lately, and for good reason. It's pretty much go time, man. That said it best, me enjoying the chaos that's happening in hip hop right now. If this leads to generational music, then the real winners on the fans. That's all that matters. <laughs> that sounded too selfish. Anyway, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching me look at these tracks. Um, sorry, you gotta get used to me talking with these retainers. I gotta wear them full time. I'm in my Kanye Grills era, so, uh. Good shit, Drake. I respect it. I respect it. Kendrick, now you actually have to respond if this uh, becomes official. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna go edit this real quick and then I'm, I, I just wanna go play 2K. I just wanna go play WWE 2K24, man. I need to hop back on that series, man. Anyway, yeah. Hip hop, man. About to get. Fucking chaotic. Drake's the name, rapping's my game. Yeah, K Doc, more like K Not. <laughs>